going to Auburn to tailgate this weekend in the van. So we're pretty excited. We're in our warm clothes at 64 in St. Petersburg, coming across the bridge from Tampa. But um, this is going to be the warmest of this whole trip. Our first stop was at Arby's off of the Suncoast Parkway. And now we're at Wawa getting gas. We have about half a tank, but Chuck's going to fill us up. And then we are on our way to Dothan, Alabama, to a brewery there. This is Mary Lou Lane. This is the entrance where you turn to go into the brewery. I read in the morning that it said to go out the entrance when you leave because there's some low-hanging trees over here on the left. It's been six hours today, so it's been like a decent, decent drive. So here's the van. We parked out here on the outskirts. We backed in first, but it was really unlevel, so then we just moved up a little bit. And it is like chilly. I mean, I'm used to Florida weather. It's, it can't be 55. It's got to be even colder here now. The outside area. These stores are cool. I like them. We already got drinks and took sitting down. So here's the food. Looks delicious. Lots of Cajun. So we got the boudin balls and we got gumbo. Friends are coming, but we were hungry. I think I'm gonna get a shirt. I really like the shirts. This is the Blue Moon Cafe. I think she said they've been open for nine years, the brewery. Since 2013, there we go. Since 2013. They have a tap list, and then they have a meat and cider list. I had the apple wind cider, it wasn't very good. I got the cherry lime sicer mead. It was really good. And then I think I tasted another one of those. Liquid sunshine I think was the sweet one, but I didn't really like it as much. So what did you get, Chuck? The Snipe Hunt IPA, I'm guessing? Chuck also got a six pack to go. Which is funny because they got the six pack. You got the six pack before you even tasted it. <laughs> Ooh, there's the heat. Feels good. 24 dollars. Oh, case prices. It's got like a little sitting area over here by the bathrooms. We just got our food, and this is the chicken and sausage gumbo with some bread, and the boudin balls. How do they taste? Oh, it's hot. It's too hot to eat. All right. I got a cherry lime cider, or not cider, a mead, a sizer mead. Chuck went to school here. He was in this trailer park. And we're trying to see if we can find his trailer, if it's still here. It was um, lots of, uh, mostly all Auburn students. So pretty much you would buy a trailer, you'd have it, and then when you graduated, you'd sell it to the next set of Auburn students. <laughs> so him and um, a friend from his town bought a trailer together. I don't know what this is. There's like a stop sign. Oh, that's the ambulance that we just passed. <laughs> I wonder if that was a camper van. <laughs> that's hilarious. A campulance. Oh, Mike, yeah. 
531, that's it. You think it's the same trailer? I think it is. Wow. It's on a different porch and all that, but that wasn't there. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. It sure is hilly back here. Where did you park? Just on the street right here? Everybody's got their Auburn signs. It says Auburn Tigers parking only. I mean, that looks like the right vintage. So we just got to the RV field and we are at 100% and it is at 14.2 volts. So we are fully charged from this morning. And here we are set up. We came at this entrance over here around front of that building and it said no RVs until 2 o'clock. Online they said you could get in at 4 o'clock. And at 2 o'clock we already saw some vans in here. And so apparently if you're a van, it's a personal RV. And there were cars in here where people were holding their spots. Um, like here she was holding their spot until they got their RV here. And all the RVs were lined up over like in that corner. And um, now they're in here. But they said this is very light. Not a lot of people here. Typically, there's a lot more people here. So this is maybe an off game. I don't know. I thought it was homecoming. But anyway, it's um, pretty neat. We're excited. We've got our chairs set up back here in the sun. Chuck's going to grill. We've got our area kind of staked out. We're next to this hot charcoal disposal area. So we figured that will give us a little bit of some extra room. But it sounds like it's not going to be crowded at all. Um, yeah, so... We're super excited. It's been a good day. Last night, um, last night was great. We had like no issues. We had no issues last night. It was very quiet. The brewery was great. We got up this morning, visited our friends on the way out of town for a little while. Then we stopped at a park on the way here and had lunch from Dothan, Alabama and somewhere in between there and Tuskegee, I think we stopped and had lunch. And then we just got here, like I said, just about right on time. We went and got gas and uh, filled up already. Last night, we used just a tick on the gas for running the diesel heater all night, and it was super, super, super hot. I mean, Chuck turned it down twice, so I think we may have it tweaked now. I think about 18 Celsius is like the better temperature for us. And so hopefully tonight it won't be so blazing hot. Um, the temperature is cold. It got down to 28 last night, but our battery, our um, our batteries did good. Uh, like I said, by the end of this morning, after we ran the toilet, I think we were down to about 83 percent, and now we're fully charged after driving today. The water lines did not freeze, even though they're underneath the uh, the van. It was 28 at midnight, and then it went to 31 I think by 6 a.m. and um, then it was 34 by the time we got up at 8 o'clock so definitely gonna be chilly here but we're pretty happy and excited
lots of parking lots too, like separate than this one that have people parked in it. So I don't know what the rhyme or reason is how they determine what everything's going on, but anyway, we like it. We're in a nice flat area. Everything drained good. We didn't even have to put out any leveling blocks. Oh, it looks good. I think it looks good. Cut it up, but I'm not going to. No, we don't need to cut it up. We'll just hold, hand hold it and eat it. It's like a little pizza. I'm gonna put too much on that. So it has garlic, onion, red peppers on the next layer, and then it's got a layer of cheese, and then it's got the layer of sausage, and then the topping is this parsley, oily thing. All right. Ew, it just looks delicious. I'll take the little one. You want the big one? Which one's little? That one's little, yeah. Ew. Awesome. Of course, Tex putting hot sauce on his. Looking good. Making our way to Jordan Hair. It is about 2.30. A unique tradition of watching an Auburn football game at Jordan-Hare Stadium is before the game starts, actually about 15 or 20 minutes before, there is an eagle that is let loose and it flies over the heads of all of the fans. So it's super exciting. The eagle's just very majestic. We were actually on the stairs walking to our seat when it went over, so it's my first time to see it, but I didn't have time to get the video camera out. The significance of the eagle is that back in 1892, in an Auburn and University of Georgia football game, an eagle broke loose from the master during the game and circled the field, exciting the fans. Um, this is a tradition that Auburn has now had, and they use War Eagle as their battle cry. The mascot is actually the Auburn Tigers, but War Eagle is what most people will say when you see them anywhere in the world. So it's the game was super exciting. We loved watching the players come out. We loved watching the band. Um, everything was just really fun, even though it was cold. <laughs> We were freezing during the game, especially when the wind picked up. In fact, it was so cold a lot of the fans left. But Auburn won. Super exciting. 41 Auburn, 17 for the other team. And because it was so cold, we didn't go watch the trees get rolled with the toilet paper. But um, maybe next time. Alright, good morning. It is Sunday and we've survived the cold. Our battery is at 55% right now after two days of sitting in the same place so we haven't been able to use our alternator to generate power um so this is all off of our battery bank which we feel pretty good about um we didn't use the toilet a lot we used it a little uh most of the time we use the porta potties that are right up there so it's not really far away you can see it's cleared out a lot here but there really were never too, too many RVs because this was an off game. But um, yeah, so we're pretty happy. Our pipes didn't freeze any of these three days where it's been super cold. And we are ready to hit the road today. Powder Brewing Company.
Lake City. Our legs are stiff. Been in the car for way too long without walking around very much. It's a small inside area. We really enjoyed our time at Hal Powder Brewing. The bartenders were nice. The food was really good. We ended up getting pretzels as an appetizer. And we had these roast beef sliders with fries for dinner and they were amazing. Uh, definitely highly recommend this place. Drinks were good. After dinner, we headed over to a boondockers welcome spot for the night. Good morning, it's Monday, November the 21st and we are making our way on the back roads still to get home. And we've gone all the way on the back roads from Auburn should be on the back roads all the way to the Howard Franklin Bridge in Tampa. So that's a long way. This is the first day the sun has been out in a couple of days, so it's warming up. It's now 60 degrees outside. We stayed at a Boondockers welcome spot in Lake City last night, which is one we had stayed at before and the owner wasn't there again. So we didn't even get out of the van. It was like in the 50s and it was cold. So we just pretty much stayed in the van the whole night, watched some YouTube to get up this morning. Um, it's the weekend Thanksgiving, so their school's out and a lot of people are off, so there's not much traffic out so far. We left at 8.30. It's probably about 9.30 now. And like I said, 60 degrees. It's going to be 75 when we get home in St. Pete, so we're super excited to get back to warm weather. We're making our way closer to home and it is now 74 degrees and the sun is out full four. And it feels great. We're so tired of being cold all the time. I would say, what was the best thing about the trip? Running the game. What? Running the game. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, so Auburn won. That was a plus. And I think the van did really great. We um, had some really cold, freezing temperatures, but the weather. But the pipes didn't freeze, so that was really good. We had um, the first time really using the diesel heater, and it was our cheap Chinese $150 diesel heater, and it worked fabulous. In fact, it was just way too hot constantly, so we kept having to turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. Um, so very happy with, with that purchase. update on our progress with the fire pit. Chuck ordered it on Amazon after we returned. I think it was $128 with tax. Uh, this is what it looked like in the box. He is lays perfectly flat, which is really great. So he took it out, put it together. I've attached some photos here of what that looked like. And then it even came with a bag. So I was able to put it back into the bag. So it's very, very heavy, but um, the size fits perfectly in our van, so we think it's going to work out really well.